up, everyone? How you guys and gals doing? We are back. Yeah, I took the weekend off. It was the birthday weekend, so I had to take the weekend off, man. But now we're back on schedule. Audio is fixed. Yesterday during uh, the morning show, man, we were having all kinds of freaking issues right there. Anyway, we're going to be talking about the Hells Angels rules on meth, according to this newspaper. You would think just for a minute that the news media would come out and say, way to go. The police? No. They're buzzkills. What is it with cops? They always got to be buzzkills. It's ridiculous that they have to be like that all the time. But we do have some good stuff, and that is the Banditos. Man, they were helping with coats for kids, and it's about time that the media covered it. So let's take a look at this, uh, shall we? Uh, let's go to our main story first, which is the Hells Angels rules on meth use and dealing not always apply, police say. Really? It is so funny that they have to be the buzzkill that they are. They just can't say, well, you know, a couple people, they're a bunch of morons. They go out there and they do stuff and make the club look bad. No, 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 no. They have to come back and be buzzkills. Anyway, this out of stuff.co.newzealand. Yes, one of these days I'm going to put up a picture of what... Australia looks like and New Zealand looks up because you get them two mixed up. Woo, woo. Anyway, Hell's Angels rules and on meth use and dealing not always applied. This according to the police. Like we got to believe that, right? Anyway, John No is the author of this. Not going to even attempt your last name because English ain't my best language, man. And ain't that a freaking hoot? It really is a hoot. Here I have to read this stuff. Anyway, Hells Angels' relationship with methamphetamine is clear on paper, but murky in reality, they claim, with rules designed to keep the drug out of the gang inconsistently applied, a court has heard. So basically, it's not up to your standards. We need money for our budget, and you guys are lying. That's what they're saying. That's basically what they're saying. A jury in the Palmerston North District Court has been given a crash course <laughs> in what police know about the motorcycle gang and the meth trade as part of the trial of four men. Four men again accused of helping put the drug into the community. Four guys. Always put the club on trial. This is what they do. All the time, they don't focus on the individuals that are committing the crime. No, they want to put the whole club into it. Same old thing over there as it is here, I guess. Uh, you know, the, the people deny being involved in the meth ring, which had Patch Tells Angels member in it at its center. They claim. The Crown, I, I always love that, the Crown, uh, I guess it could be the same as the people of uh, the state of Illinois or Florida, blah, 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 uh, against this individual, blah, 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 it just kind of sounds funny. The Crown says uh, Gilmore, who has already pleaded guilty to various charges, sourced meth from Uckland-based Hells Angels distributed it to the lower level dealers, gathered the money and took it back to another person. You got to prove it. Prove it. Gilmore allegedly worked with uh, those two to distribute meth in 2020. Uh, uh, while Allen is accused of the manufacturer, the first COVID-19 lockdown. So instead of saying over here, let's get to this. Instead of saying, some members broke the rules on meth of the motorcycle club. They had to come up and say, no, the club 
is not always applied. Excuse me. Insanity. So that's what's going on right now out there. Uh, let's check this out. I, this is some good stuff here. Some good stuff. I'm always the bearer of bad news and I don't like it. So let's get some good stuff out there. Coats for kids. Bandito's Motorcycle Club joined by motorcycle clubs from across the state. And this is out of Nonstop Local by uh, Brianna Chavez. And this is out of Washington State. For 10 years, the Motorcycle Run Coats for Kids has been sponsored by the local motorcycle club, Banditos. I bet that's not something the police like hearing, is it? Them getting good press in the media? No. Today, a uh, club from across the state of Washington joined to collect unwanted coats for kids in the area. It should be raincoats, too, man, because Washington, all it does is rain out there, I hear. Raincoats, too. Uh, in the last uh, 10 years, listen to this. Nearly 20,000 coats have been collected by the club for local kids. Rock and roll. For years, the drive was hosted in their very own KNDU parking lot. So that's a good thing, man. Maybe that should be a strategy of clubs. Hold your poker runs and all that stuff in media parking lots. Then they'll give you a good media. Maybe that's a it's a good strategy. After growing into something bigger, the event is now held at the Garden Church. Uh, president of the Los Banditos, Boom Boom, tells us it's nice seeing the support from across the state. I love it. I love it. Good stuff. It's about time it's coming out. And there is your way in. Yes, way in. Go have it in the parking lot of a media outlet and things will work a lot better i think but anyway 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 but you see what i'm saying it's just not a local issue that this happens with clubs where somebody gets messed up goes to jail and they put the club on trial. It was famously done, the Freddie Angelo, where out of nowhere, they bust this hippie dude. He was, that's basically what Freddie is, a hippie, for all kinds of heinous stuff. And instead of them putting him on trial, they put the pagans on trial. You know, everybody has a bad history. Every club, everybody does. But that don't mean it's current. It don't mean it's happening in the modern era. You know, I know cops would have you like, you know, like you to believe that, but it really doesn't happen like that anymore. And it's just ignorant and it's hypocritical and it's BS that they have to put these kind of tags on the clubs anymore these days when they know it, they know better. They really do. But do you, because we have a lot of people that are on social media that are claiming that they were bikers or they're tough, independent bikers, but you sit there and jump on the cop bandwagon with some of these creators that are known ex-cops, ex-undercovers. So I don't want to hear how tough and all that bullshit you are or that you're a true blue biker when you're out there supporting cop causes, man. I don't think any of us want to hear that kind of crap. And it's funny with these clubs that are, say, started by civilians, then they want to go and join the this supposed organization, Alliance of Law Abiding Clubs. Oh, we're law abiding. Man, shut up. Stop it. Come on, stop it. Don't be stupid. Who's buying that? Most people in regular clubs are law abiding, but they don't need to go out there and tell you. Get out of here, man. It's that propaganda BS. And anybody that belongs to that kind of stuff, you know, take your motorcycle enthusiast ass away from me. 
all I have to say. All I have to say. Anyway, we're going to go to the second half of the show right now with uh, China Dow. Stay tuned. It's going to be a good one right after this, baby. We'll talk to you in a second. Rock on. <laughs> 